Hello friends, this video on areas related to circles part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. Now for example, the question says a car has two wiper. You must have seen the wiper in the car. This is the car and you have two wipers which is used in the rainy season. Each wiper has a and they don't overlap. This is a very critical thing here. Each wiper has a blade of 25 centimeter length. So this is 25. This length is 25. And it wipes to an angle of 115 degree only. That is, this angle it wipes at the maximum distance it wipes, is, right? So if you take the angle from this point, the maximum angle it wipes is this angle is 115 degree. We have to find the total area clean at each sweep of the blade. That is, let me draw in this fashion. So we have a blade like this in the car. And one more blade like this in the car. The radius is stored and this moves like this, like this. Correct? This also moves like this, like this. And the maximum angle it moves is 115 degrees. So from here to here, if you see, the maximum angle is moves is 115 degree. Same thing applies here also, same thing applies here also, 115 degree. So we have to find the area clean. So if you see here, properly this is also a sector. This is a circle with this uh, radius. It moves from here to here. This is a sector actually. This is a sector and the angle is 15 degree. We need to find the area. Very simple. So area of, we'll find for one blade. Area by one blade. That will be theta by 360 into pi r square theta is how much 115 by 360 pi is how much 22 by 7 into r is how much 25 into if you solve this what you get is 158125 by 252 i'm not solving it you can solve this it's just a mathematical thing and the area will be in centimeter square. Why? Because it is centimeter and it's only about area, so it's centimeter square. This is by one blade. So I'm saying I'm talking about the area by two blade because there are two blades here, two wipers. So area by two wipers. It'll be twice of this. It will be two of one five eight one two five by two fifty two. That is nothing but. 158125 by 126 and here are also to be centimeter square. So this is the total area covered by the two wipers. Just try to understand the question. This is real life questions. You have this wiper. Since it rotates from here to here, it will form a sector. So it will form a sector. You have this radius. Radius you have, you have the angle, you can find the area of the sector. Thus understand that this is a sector. If you understand that it is a sector, your problem is solved. Let's take one more example. A lighthouse spreads a red colored light over a sector angle 30, 80 degree to a distance 16.5. You find the area of the sea covered. So this is the lighthouse and this, this throws the light. The angle it covers is 80 degree and the distance is 16.5. Kilometer, sorry, this is kilometer. This is the maximum distance covered. So, what do you define? We have to find the area of the sea which is worn. So, if you see here, also it is a sector with theta is equal to 80 degree and r is equal to 16.5 kilometer. So, once we understand that this is a sector with angle 80 degree and the radius of 16.5, the question is very simple for us. So, here we can use area of sector. Nothing but theta by 360 degree pi r square. Theta is equal to 80 degree by 360 degree into pi. We can say 3.14 into r. r is nothing but 16.5 into 16.5. You calculate this and you get value as 189.97. Since it is a kilometer, so it will be kilometer square why we got talking about area and that is my answer very simple question just you have to understand this if you visualize properly this is a, this is a ship this is a sorry 
lighthouse it throws this light the maximum distance it covers is 16.5 and the angle it covers is 80 degree so it forms a sector if you understand this the question is very simple let's take one more example the round table cover has six equal designs if you see six equal designs if the radius of the cover is uh, 28 cm so this is the point so the point this radius is 28 cm we have to find the cost of making the design at the rate of this uh, some rate per cm square so if you want to find the cost of this uh, design rate you have to first find is the area of the design so my first target is we have to find the area of the design if you find the area of the design we can just multiply with this to get the cost so how to find the area of the design so if you see this visualize properly if you join this line also Join this line also. This is a segment. The design is a segment. And if you join all, you you see everything is a segment. This is a segment, 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 all segment only, and all are equal segment. Correct. So if we can find the area of one segment, this segment, and we can multiply into six, I'll get the total area of the design because there are six segments. One, two, three, four. Five, six. So let me find the area of one segment. So area of segment will be we you know that this area of the sector, this angle will be how much? Sixty degree. Why? Because the whole angle is three sixty degree, and we are dividing into six equal part because one, two, three are six parts now by six. This, is this angle is sixty degree. So if we let let's name this A B. So we can find the area of this triangle OAB, and we can find the area of the sector. We subtract to get the area of this segment. Correct. So we'll say area of segment is equal to area of sector minus area of triangle AB. In this case, now we can do area of sector is very simple. Theta by 360. Theta is 60 degree. By 360 degree into pi. Pi is I can take anything. If you take 20 by 7, because it's 28, I can cut this. Pi r square r is 28. 28 by 28 minus area of this triangle. If you see this, this is 60, and here also if you see both are same side 21 21. Since the sides are same for 20 28, this angle will be equal theta and theta. So if you solve this. 60 plus theta plus theta is equal to 180 degree. If you solve this, you'll get theta also 60 degree. So this is also 60 degree, and this is also 60 degree angle actually. Correct. All are 60 degree, so it's an equilateral triangle. So you can find the area. It is nothing but root 3 by 4 into side square, and side is 28. It's 28 into. So if you solve this properly, what you get is this is nothing but 6. Seven four twenty. This also I think will get cancelled. Six becomes three. This becomes. So this I'll get one two three two by three, and this I'll get root three by four into twenty eight square. I'll get this is nothing but three 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 point two, and the whole thing is nothing but centimeter square. This is area of one segment. So area of design is nothing but. Area of design, D E S I Z N. I think what six into area of one segment. Correct. Why? Because there are six such segments. This becomes six into one, two, three, two by three minus three, three, three centimeter. So if you solve this, what you get is four sixty four point eight. Centimeters square. So the area of the design is four sixty four point eight centimeters. That is something we have got. To find cost, total cost will be required. Is nothing but cost per uh, centimeter square into area. Correct. Thus, cost per centimeter square into area will be total cost. Cost per centimeter square is nothing but point three five to be percent square. 
and area is 464.8 centimeter square so the total value will get as rupees 162.68 this is the total value correct so the total cost so the total cost is 162.68 rupees why because the cost per centimeter square was 0.35 rupees per centimeter square the total area we found was 464.8 centimeter square multiplied it we got total cost as 162.68 rupees so let thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again